everybody, what's going on? It's Lauren from Hot For Food, and today I'm stoked because I am kicking off the Silk Five Days, Five Ways series. And thanks so much to Silk for sponsoring and collaborating with me on another video. So myself and four other awesome YouTubers are bringing you meals for every single day of the week, every single meal of the day, for a total of 25 vegan recipes. We are gonna show you how to make breakfast, snacks, lunch, dinner, and dessert all using silk and that is a ton of recipes so you are going to have meals planned for the entire week how cool is that i am kicking things off with five easy vegan breakfast recipes and these are all easily prepped ahead of time and you can take them to school or work because we're going to make them in jars and i'm going to use a variety of the silk product line so you can see the versatility of these products so i'm going to show you how to make cherry pie overnight oats pina colada chia pudding cultured coconut berry parfaits, banana hazelnut breakfast bread pudding, and a easy tofu scramble souffle. So let's kick things off with the cherry pie overnight oats. So you're gonna take a cup of rolled oats, add them to a bowl, add some coconut sugar, cinnamon, and just a pinch of sea salt. Give it a quick stir to combine it. Now add a cup of silk almond unsweetened, which has as much calcium as dairy milk, FYI. Give it a stir and set this aside. Uh, you're just gonna basically now prepare your fruit and your pecans, and then you're just gonna layer everything in jars and put them in the fridge overnight, and then they're ready to go in the morning. So take about one quarter cup of the oatmeal mixture and place it in the bottom of your jars. Now add a layer of pecans and reserve a small amount for the topping when you wanna eat it. You can add a little drizzle of maple syrup if you like, but it's optional. You'll also reserve some cherries for the topping as well. So the reason you leave these overnight is so that the oats can get soft without actually cooking them. So I have two that are already set and ready to go. And then in the morning when you want to eat this, I would top it with some granola to give it some extra crunch, some more pecans and some more fresh cherries, and another drizzle of maple syrup if you like. All right, now we're going on to day two. We're gonna make pina colada chia pudding. You are gonna be blown away by how much this tastes like a pina colada, and you're eating it for breakfast. So you're gonna add chia seeds to a bowl, then add the zest of one lime, then add pineapple juice from a can of crushed pineapple. Now go ahead and add silk coconut unsweetened to the mix. Give it a stir to combine it, and then this is gonna set overnight, and the chia seeds are gonna expand, thereby making chia pudding. Now, some of y'all out there have yet to replace your dairy products with non-dairy products like silk. I suggest you give it a try because they have the same smooth textures you're used to. There's also no cholesterol, artificial colors or flavors, or any funny, funny, weird business going on. So give it a try with these easy breakfast recipes. Now we're gonna assemble the pina colada chia pudding parfaits with more crushed pineapple between the layers of chia pudding, and then you can top with coconut chips, crushed pineapple, mint, and lime. Day three is super easy. We're gonna make cultured coconut berry parfaits. So all you're gonna do is mix berries with some lemon zest and maple syrup, and those are gonna give them some extra zing. Then you're gonna layer your parfaits with silk cultured coconut unsweetened vanilla. So this actually has the same tang as yogurt. It's really delicious, but it has hardly any sugar since it's unsweetened. And a lot of the yogurts you're probably buying in the store right now are super sugary and indulgent. They're basically like a dessert. All these breakfast jars are basically the same size, but I made the cultured coconut berry parfaits a little bigger because it's not as filling as, say, the oatmeal and the chia. So day four is one of my favorite ideas. It's a banana hazelnut breakfast bread pudding. It's essentially like a mug cake, so we're making it in the microwave. You just put everything into one jar, microwave it for three minutes, and then you've got this amazing breakfast bread pudding on your hands. So first, we're gonna mash a banana. Now you're gonna add whole wheat flour, add baking powder, a little pinch of cinnamon, and a little pinch of salt. So I've pre-roasted my hazelnuts. You're gonna to wanna to add about two tablespoons of roughly chopped nuts. 
So for this recipe, we're using the Silk Almond for Coffee Hazelnut flavor. This is a nice little sweet treat in your coffee on like say Friday mornings, but it's really awesome in this banana breakfast bread pudding because this is how we're getting our sweetness. So you're gonna add a quarter of a cup to the batter. And now give this a stir until it's really well combined. It's actually good if you do this in a clear jar like this so you can see that you've mixed everything together. Now you're gonna microwave this for about three minutes until it's cooked all the way through. And now, it's very hot, so just be careful. This is the fun part. Okay, so you're gonna poke the bread pudding with a fork, and to give it the bread pudding effect, you're gonna drizzle a little bit more of the silk almond for coffee hazelnut flavor over top, and it's gonna soak in there and make it nice and tasty. We're also just gonna garnish with a little bit of the cultured coconut on top and some more roasted hazelnuts. All right, day five is our savory idea. It's a tofu scramble souffle. Of course, if you watch Hot For Food regularly, you know we love our tofu scramble for brunch and breakfast, but now I'm gonna show you a really easy way to make it in a jar and microwave it super fast so you can take it to go in the mornings. So you're gonna start with half a cup of crumbled tofu. You're gonna add cornstarch and a little bit of nutritional yeast. And then you're gonna add just pinches of turmeric, chili powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Now add silk almond unsweetened. And then I'm gonna add green pepper and green onion. All right, so you can actually prep this the night before, leave it in the fridge, and then in the morning, microwave it for three minutes. So out of the microwave, it's gonna look a little liquidy, but just give it a stir, and then all that sauce will nicely coat the tofu. Just add some avocado and salsa to the tofu scramble souffle, and I like it with blueberries and toast. All right, there you go. Day one, two, three, four, and five. A breakfast idea for the whole week. And I'm going in on the banana hazelnut breakfast bread pudding. Oh my God, you guys are gonna love that one. It's like just a hint of sweetness for breakfast. It's not overpowering. The tofu scramble one is nice. I'm glad we have a savory idea in here. Mmm. Aren't you so excited that now you can make tofu scramble in the microwave? Oh my God. Mmm. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so now you've got all your meal inspo, your meal ideas, and all the recipes for these ideas are on hotforfoodblog.com, so check it out. I have linked it below. And of course, that's not all. You are getting meal ideas for lunch, dinner, desserts as well, and go check out at the end of this video, keep up with Liv. Olivia's got five snack ideas for you, all made with silk. So there you go, meal inspo, meal prep, tasty recipes, all 25 recipes in the Silk Five Days, Five Ways series are vegan. How amazing is that? So check out everybody's videos. Throughout the week, I'm actually gonna be adding to the Silk Five Days, Five Ways playlist that I've linked below. So make sure you're checking back tomorrow as well for more ideas. Okay, if you make any of these things, would love to see your photos. Tag us at Hot For Food on social media. And of course, subscribe here. There is a little button below in the corner to subscribe to Hot For Food on YouTube because I am here every single Wednesday. Okay, I got a lot of breakfasts to eat and luckily I can't eat them all right now so I can just put them back in the fridge and save them for tomorrow. See you guys next time. Peace out.